You're about to launch a business, but you realize you don't have a landing page to direct people to about your offer. You don't have somewhere they can book a call, make a purchase, or sign up for your service, and you realize you're gonna miss out on a lot of potential business. You need a landing page, and you need one real quick. But you don't know how to create a landing page or which elements to include in that landing page to increase the chances of converting visitors. So in this video I'm going to reveal some of the best landing page hacks that are so good even the pros use them, I'll cover exactly what's so special about these 9 hacks and if you're a beginner or intermediate I'll cover exactly how you can use them to optimise your landing page. But how do you build a landing page and what tool do you use to build one? There are so many free landing page builders out there but finding one that works for you can be extremely hard, especially if you're a beginner. When you search for free landing page builder on Google you get all the advertised websites first and those aren't necessarily the best. What you need is a landing page builder that is fully customizable, allows for integration with outside sources and creates a stunning landing page that makes viewers connect with your brand. And there's one landing page builder that I use when creating landing pages for my clients and it's called Card. To get high conversions you must understand how visitors interact with websites but this can take a lot of time to learn especially if you're a beginner. So I'll show you 9 hacks that the pros use to get a high percentage of their visitors to follow through on their call to action. Over 60% of the global the global internet population uses mobile, so when mobile viewers come to a site and they're presented with an awful version of the site, they'll leave straight away, which means there's no conversions for you, but to fix that there's a simple hack that we can use in card. In the top left of the screen there's a mobile button and when you give it a click it turns that page into a mobile view. So you can scroll through your landing page and view it as a mobile viewer would view your landing page. And when you click on a page element you can amend that element and optimise it for mobile, leading to higher conversions and happier users. But how do you know these changes that you're making are actually having an impact on how viewers are using your landing page? This is where something like an analytics tool that allows you to see exactly how viewers are using your landing page would be extremely useful. A tool that lets you see heat maps, screen recordings and user clicks. Microsoft Clarity is a great tool for analytics when it comes to measuring metrics on your landing page. And to get Microsoft Clarity working on your site, you just register your landing page URL on Clarity, get the tracking code and add it into the heading of your landing page. It's that simple. Each time you make a change to your site you can check whether it's actually impacted on how viewers use your landing page. But unfortunately you can't track how viewers use your site if you can't get them on the site in the first place. Maybe you've come across links on social media that look a little bit like this. There's no incentive to visit that site. You can't see how it looks and you don't know what you're going to get. What you need is an image within that preview that shows or at least teases what the viewer is going to get once they click. So with mine, I decided to make the preview of my landing page the above the fold section of my site. Thankfully, with Card, you're able to decide what the preview of your site looks like when sharing the link with other people. And to change it, you just screenshot the above the fold section of your site or any part of the site you want to show in the preview, click the three lines, click publish, image icon, then add your image to the share image element. Now people get an attractive looking preview and are more likely to click through to your site. But the worrying thing is, 42% of people will leave your site if it isn't easy to navigate. If the visitor were to see a button and click on it, then that button should take them somewhere, whether that's on the current page or somewhere else in your site. When visitors reach the bottom of your landing page, to stop them exiting the site, you can provide them with a way to get back to the top quickly, rather than having to scroll all the way back to the top. At the bottom of my page, I have an arrow and when visitors click on it, it takes them all the way back to the top and this is how I set it up. Add a scroll point, add a hashtag name, add a button and add a hashtag name to that button. But did you know the way that your landing page looks and feels plays a significant role in improving the customer journey? Leading to more visitors clicking on the call to action resulting in higher conversions. While Disney is renowned for it, video games wouldn't function without it and Pixar took it to another level. You guessed it, animation. Card offers a whole load of different animations that can be used on any element in the landing page. Oh, but don't you just find it annoying when you have hundreds of different tabs open and you can't find the one you want to use because it has an icon like this. It makes it super hard to find. If only there was a way to create your own tab icon within Card. Oh wait, there is. You want to click on the three lines, click on publish, then image, and then change the icon. For mine, I've just used the main colours of my brand, but you can customise it to anything you want. But 100% of landing pages fail and they won't convert if you don't use this next feature. 
Let's say you were to go to Amazon's store, but this feature was removed. You literally wouldn't be able to buy anything. Or if you went to Uber's website and this feature wasn't available, you wouldn't be able to order your pickup and you'd be left stranded forever. Buttons are key to conversions and you want to make sure that you include them on your landing page and make them as engaging as possible. Let's add a button into card and see what elements you can amend to make it more engaging. You can choose a variety of different colours for your button. To change the colour of a button, head to the settings tab and then change the colour. And then you can add a gradient to it too if you like. Another optimization hack is to make your button grow or change colour as someone hovers their cursor over it. And to do that you click on the button, go into the format settings, change the background or change the hover colour. And now when I hover over the button I'll see a slight change in colour. But to make the button grow, all you need to do is go to the animations tab, scroll all the way to the bottom. Then you'll see a section that says buttons on hover then you can change it to grow but if i changed it to something else like none and hovered over it then my button wouldn't have an animation to it when i hover over it with my cursor when someone hovers over a button with their cursor and it grows it gives them extra incentive to want to click on that button while we're on the topic of buttons if you're enjoying this video so far then hit the subscribe button in march 2023 i changed my life completely by starting a youtube channel quitting social media and putting a stop to my gaming since then i've started my own business signed my first clients and made my first money online all alongside working a nine to five i'm building my dream life sharing all things side hustle how to build a business and how to grow online my ultimate goal is that these videos help you to build your own dream life I'd also love it if I got the chance to work with you, maybe you need an optimised lander for your business or agency to increase conversions, or you want to learn how to grow on YouTube, or get coaching on how to start your first business. If that's you then you can drop me an email which can be found in the description below. But now let's look at changing text within your buttons, because using the right text in your buttons can lead to higher conversions. So to change the text within your button, you head down to the first tab, click on the drop down menu, and then enter the text. You want to make sure the button tells the visitor what happens when they click on that button. As well as changing the text, you're able to change the icon here. The icon plays a huge role in connecting with the visitor emotionally. For example, if I chose a shopping trolley icon, then the visitor will automatically think that the button takes them to check out. So the icon you use varies depending on the call to action and what that text says within the button. In the creative media package section of my site, which is a new additional offer which I'm excited to announce, I've used the YouTube logo to hint to the visitor that will help them to get started on YouTube or improve their current YouTube content. Remember you can test if any of your changes leads to higher conversions with Microsoft Clarity. All my buttons have the same call to action, which is to book a call with me via Calendly, and I've done that by using this link here. Hashtag free discovery call and notice how I've broken up the words with hyphens that just makes it easier for screen reading software to read those links. And when someone clicks on the button it takes them to another section within my card landing page. But how do you do that within card? To make a new section in card click on the plus icon then control and then section break. Just like the scroll points have a hashtag, any new section you create within card has its own hashtag too. This section acts as a separate landing page on your card site. My Calendly section has the hashtag free discovery call and the majority of my buttons link to it. Now let's talk about X baby. Let's talk about how too many people link straight to their Calendly from their social media profile. Now that's just a recipe for disaster for cold leads. Imagine I'm a cold lead coming to your profile for the first time. I've seen an interesting post that you put on social media. I've come to your profile and the only way to find out more about your service or offer is by spending time on a call with you or scrolling through your social media posts. And that just wastes my precious time. What I prefer to do is click on the link in your bio which takes me to your very own landing page and it tells me everything I ever need to know about your service and offer. Plus it's optimised for conversions which increases the chances of me booking a call with you. So instead of linking direct to your Calendly, what you're going to do is link people to your very own optimised landing page. Then you're going to have call to action buttons on that landing page which takes people through to a different section of the landing page and allows them to book a call with you through Calendly. Now to do that it's pretty straightforward, all you need to do is create a new section, add embed element, copy the embed code and then add that code to your embed element. But everything I've just told you about these hacks would be absolutely useless if you didn't optimise your landing page's structure for increased conversions. So go check out this video to find out some of the secrets that I use when creating optimised landing pages for my clients. Oh and you also get a free guide with it too.